and see if anyone's trapped in here. Then I can find out who's responsible for this mess. You'll get that hot water. What's up, everybody? Kong Spideyzilla back at it again. And today I am playing Spider Man 3, the movie game. Well, tonight, well, today, since I'm recording this in the dawn, so I'm actually correct. Correct. Oh my goodness, correct. Collect. Sorry, guys. Go ahead and beat up those bad guys. Drop them like a bad habit. Soften them up with some quick attacks. Then nail them with a strong hit. Oh, I'm so sad. How many people can say they got beaten by Spider Man? Well, a lot. Alright, so. We are continuing the movie game marathon and. This copy is pretty old and run down, so I apologize there might be some glitches here. So, there you go. What would Spider-Man be without his spider powers? I'll tell you, he'd be man. <laughs> man. Is that what you came here to play? Man 3? <laughs> so. Now go ahead and crawl up this wall, you know. Like Spider-Man? Man 3. I apologize if you guys can't hear that. I'll turn I'll turn it up a little more. <laughs> so how are you guys doing today? Well, I'm doing good. I hope you guys are having a good day. Are you troubled by bad guys who move too fast? Ask your doctor about web splats. Proven in lab tests to slow bad guys down by up to 80%. Web splats aren't perfect. Side effects may include headache, nausea, and diarrhea. That guy went down pretty quickly. So as you can see, I am playing the PS2 version. These guys got no respect. Don't just stand there and take their abuse. Dodge to avoid their attacks, then show them what Spider-Man are made of. Alright. So as you can see, I'm playing the PS2 version of the game. Honestly, the version I grew up with... Oh, it's so sad. How many people can say they got beaten by Spider-Man? It's funny, I never heard... I should see if anyone else is trapped in here. I, I never heard him say that line before, oddly enough. So, it, of course, as you can... You're not a real hero until you save someone's life, right? Otherwise, you're just a guy in long underwear who hits people. <laughs> save civilians in danger to start earning some superhero street food. No problem. I wonder where that leads to. I'm playing the PS2 version of the game. Sorry, I keep I keep getting cut off by the dialogue from the game and all. <laughs> Alright, I'm playing the PS2 version. Definitely lackluster compared to the PS3, but however... I owe you in a big way, Spidey. Don't worry about it. Now run! However, I, I do have memories with this one. I still... I still get some enjoyment out of it, but now I'm returning to it years later. Get the guy in the... All right. Crime fighting is more of a marathon than a sprint, so let's talk endurance. Your health will regenerate up to your endurance level, but taking damage will wear away your endurance. Grab power-ups to increase your endurance. Mm -hmm. You want to hear me say endurance again? Endurance. Endurance. Okay, there you go. These goons are really slowing me down. Gotta keep moving. Press that button fast to break those chains. No sweat, right? Well, maybe a little. Listen, hey. these crazies have chained our boss to a bomb up ahead. I can give you access to the next room. Hurry. No problem. All right. Like... This is the version of the game I grew up with. I, I think this is the first... No, that was Web of Shadows on PS2. No, look, I think the first Spider-Man game I grew up with was Spider-Man Web of Shadows on the PS2. Let me take the guys out with the guns first. Need a little boost to beat the baddies? Adrenaline's the legal, all-natural way to get some extra pop. Just press the adrenaline button and attack. Shoot. Wait, let me try this thing out. Oh my goodness. Come on. There we go. So every time every time that the screen flashes like that it shows that effect. Okay, I'll I have the I get to use that. Okay. 
Oh my goodness, this game's audio is really loud. Most New Yorkers never look up, so why not take advantage? Jump and then give these thugs some death from above. I'll never see you coming. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember now that attack. Let's try that out again. All right, it has been a while. I'm about to get hit. Bam. 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 Oh wow. That was actually <laughs> that was actually <laughs> it didn't feel like Toby McGuire first. Thanks for flying air spidey. Thanks for So I apologize that this game kind of glitches out. Because <laughs> you know it's a little damaged. I got the girl, and New York finally likes me. Not that there are problems. Like this new guy, Eddie Brock at the Daily Bugle. He's really starting to get on my nerves. And Harry, my best friend, won't talk to they me. They actually got James Franco the voice Harry. How awesome and interesting. Up the city. And they got J.K. Simmons to sign cool. Still, it's not that I can't handle. Okay, fun fact, in the original PS3 version, slash 360, PC, whatever you want to call it, uh, there haven't been any big super villains around since Doc Ock. Oh. Uh, I have this bad feeling like the sky is going to fall or something soon. And apparently that cutscene was longer. They showed more games like the Dragon Tales and this weird gang called the Candy. Like Candy something. I don't know. I I really forgot. Arsenic Candy, I believe. Yeah, that that gang is not in here. The Dragon Tales gang made in here, but man, they honestly kind of don't look like how they look in in um uh what do you call it? They don't look like how they See, do in the PS3 version. Of being a hero is easy. If the bad guys are giving you too much trouble, feel free to adjust the difficulty setting. I won't tell. Hmm. Uh, just leave it on hero. Okay. Uh, I caught. I kind of forgot that this game had the difficulty setting. So, uh, sure. Let's save. Uh, on the third file. This game has like. 10 slots and another reason why i didn't play the ps3 version because that game is Feeling long lost. need direction well like painfully long control, or just use the handy point of interest markers that appear on the screen to help show you where to go all right time to get into the swing of things <laughs> look i didn't write this crap anyway just press and hold the swing button to shoot out and hang on to a web line we now definitely not as good, nowhere near as there good go. as the, now you're a real the swinging in and uh, Spider-Man 2, but it, I noticed it's kind of similar to it, so it kind of build upon it, so. And plus, the PS3 version is really difficult for me for some reason, it's so dang hard, but maybe I will give it another chance in the future. All right, let's go over here. Ain't got that swing. Try charge charge your swing to boost it. For maximum boost, release the charge button before your swing ends. Sorry, I'm pretty quiet. I really have nothing that much to talk about. <laughs> but. Okay, now the scrapbook is your one stop shop for everything. I'm gonna try to. Man, the city's a mess. Look at all those gangs. I bet the H bombers know something about bombing that building. Maybe they should have picked a different name, you think? The police can't always keep up with. Yeah, that makes them the obvious. That's where you come in. 
Track down informants to get tips on gang activity, then put a stop to it. You'll make the Big Apple a better place to live. Sometimes you'll even find clues that lead to bigger threats to the city. Uh -huh. Although the swinging in here is not irritating like the one in Spider-Man 2. Like that, the one in that game is like obviously a whole lot better, but in this one, it's not as it's not irritating for me. I don't know why. <laughs> it's more easy. I don't exactly know what a prototype is, but the H bomb is stolen off some corporate client. Oh, you're good at this whole shady informer thing. I'm not gonna lie though, the the game looks I'll probably even say that the Spider-Man 2 game looks better, but there are some graphical details in here that probably look slightly better than Spider-Man 2 on PS2. Okay, my thing is kind of charged. Okay. Alright, so we're doing missions around the city here. So, interesting things I want to talk about here is that... Okay, don't worry guys, the... Godzilla and Kong vs. the Horror Monsters Part 4 will finally be coming soon. And I'm gonna plan to try and get to um the next chapter in my Five Nights at Video Game series. So if you guys are watching this, keep that in mind. You're a handy guy to have around, Spider-Man. We know the H bombers have been hiring themselves out as corporate mercenaries. Any chance you can find some evidence so we can nail them for it? I always try to do something cool here where, um, all right, let's try that. There we go. You know, this really isn't a place for you to be taking a little nap. <laughs> wow, it's actually so much easier now. All right. So expect those two things coming soon. Godzilla and Congress of the Horror Monsters Part 4 finally coming soon, and... I'm gonna try to get to it and, uh, what do you call it, uh, yeah, find us a video game. The next chapter coming soon. Wow, I actually got it on the first try. I always try to guess, you know, which is actually the right one to actually bring it to the police. I don't know what we do without you, Spidey. Unless you got some super villain to take down, you think you could get back those power converters the H bombers stole? Uh, there you go. Alrighty, let's see here. And interesting thing I want to talk about is that I like how the differences in these movie games are kind of are like. So say for instance, is that guy still alive? Oh no, he isn't. <laughs> that would've been funny if the red dot detected this civilian on my map. Alright, I like the... Nope, he can't do it. Unfortunately, he can't swing from the lamppost. But however, you can hang on the top of cars, I believe. If you... Yeah. Alright, yeah, you can do that. I don't know if that's doable in Spider-Man 2, the movie game, but you can do it here. So, you still get to do a cool gimmick of hanging up on top of cars. There is a glitch I've discovered, which if you swing too far from the location, you end up... You actually end up kind of... Um failing the mission, which I think is hilarious. So, as I was saying, it's kind of see the interesting to see the differences. Like, I'm, I'm going to start all the way back at the first game. So, the, the Green Goblin in Spider-Man's second encounter takes place in the city, and he has to get away from Green Goblin's Razor Bats. However, though, on, like, in the actual movie, he takes Green Goblin on in a burning building. And he has to dodge those razor bats, but he has to fight Green Goblin man to man still. And I promised myself I'd stop taking tips from streetwise shady characters, but in your case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> Funny. All right. And you know, obviously, the the biggest differences. The biggest differences are. 
the biggest difference is, is that you have multiple villains instead of one main antagonist. Only with, you know, obviously you do kind of have a main antagonist, but... Oh, it's not there, okay. You do have a main antagonist, but there's multiple villains running around. And all these are obviously to make the game longer. And, you know, the whole Oscorp thing that was in the first movie game. Yeah. Whee. I think that's what they used to call the sound thrashing. Alrighty. Let's make our way over here to the police officer. Like, I didn't know <laughs> some of these symbols back then as a kid. Like, I was really young when I played this game, but I was even younger when I played Life of Shadows. Uh, yeah, the second game, honestly, it's kind of the most faithful. Like, there are some differences, but here, this one's pretty faithful to kind of. I don't know, just like sometimes things are like really different. Unless you got some super villain to take down, you think you could get back those power converters the H bombers stole? Like, interesting thing, there's different versions of these games, and apparently, Spider Man 2 on PSP pay, plays exactly like Spider Man 2002, the movie game, on, you know, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and all that stuff. Oh, hey, this guy's right over here. <laughs> hey, it's the same guy. How funny is that? The thing I like about this version better is that you get to, you get the black suit early and you get to use it as long as you want to. Which I think is really cool. Apparently there's this thing at the end of the game where if you collect these weird stone things all over the all over the city, hiding out all over the city secretively, you can actually unlock the black suit. So that's a that's a pretty good reward, I guess. I everything was okay, Spidey. But I just heard the H bomber stole an industrial prototype. Somebody has to get it back. Uh oh. Yeah, we're on the time limit. This is industrial. Oh, that was embarrassing. Uh, plus, I can have more fun with this version as well. Um, hello? Spidey, you gotta pick it up? Okay, good. Wait, there's a random dude. Let's beat him up. Wait, what if we put it down? Right this way, Spider-Man. I've been waiting. Hey, you got, you got that out of your hand. That's kinda cool. Yeah, that's right. They can pick it up if you let it go. Uh, hello? Okay, you have- that's weird. You have to wait for the body to spawn away. Is it just me, or did this guy's location change? I remember the- I don't know, my eyes must be playing tricks on me. There's a really fun mission that we have to do later on. We really owe you one for getting this prototype back into the proper hands, buddy. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a thing. That's a big thing. They they don't have that plot twist in here where oh, it turns out it was Nothing sad men. That's really. Hey, I even get paid for reading these. Oh yeah, the upgrades. If you want to improve your skills, you're gonna need to spend some hero points to do it. Okay. They say once you start wall jumping, you never go back to crawling. <laughs> Sorry to this cut you off. This is scoop. If I ever saw one, I should get to the Daily Bugle. I'm sure Jonah will want to put a reporter okay. on the case. Alright, let's swing. Sometimes the swinging can get a little weird and wonky. Oh yeah, this, yeah, that's right, this. Eh. I don't like how the daily I have to climb up the daily bugle like that. <laughs> oh no, I should probably save. Yeah. Hey, Betty. Hi, Pete. Mr. Jameson wants you. Parker, my office, now! Um, I do like said. how they kind of borrow... I need pictures for tomorrow's front page! They kind of borrow... Spider-Man bolts while building burns? But he saved all those people. What's your problem with Spidey, Mr. Jameson? He's a good guy. Good guys don't sell papers. <laughs> Jameson! Hello. I like how they reuse the recycle... Bugle blown to smithereens. They, um... 
recycle cutscenes for the PS3 one. version. You and your paper They're all so different as well, I noticed. Payback time. I've planted bombs at all of Duval offices in that city. See you in the funny pages. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Just what I need today. Another whack job. No kidding. Like I was... Parker! Yep. <laughs> Spider knows what's up. Alright, let's see. Hopefully I can save. Please, please do good. Okay. And... Let's save because I do not trust this game. <laughs> this <laughs> way how glitchy this game can get, it's pretty scary. Things seem quiet at the bugle's main office. I should check the printing plant. Once again, I think the That's soundtrack is good in this game. I really like it. And when is a New Yorker not in a hurry, right? Try using it when climbing on walls, too, if crawling along just ain't cutting. Okay. Yeah, we get to use the web zip. I should hurry up and get to the printing plant. Can't afford a repeat of what happened at the Carlisle building. Alright, come on. Come on, Smitey. What are you doing? You're going down the way, man. <laughs> That's the thing, an issue in all three of these Spider-Man games, so sometimes Spidey just kind of loses control. Oh yeah, the, take the, bad guys toys away the guys with the shields. Try a web yank when they taunt you, or just pull them toward you for a stern talking to. Oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta protect the bomb. Protect the bomb. The web attack button to attach a web line to a bad guy. Then press strong attack, pull him in, and pound him. I like how I've got to keep him away from the bomb. If they activate it, this will be a short event. I like how Bruce Cable keeps on the. <laughs> he stays here for a good while. Uh oh, time for Plan B. <laughs> can't defuse it. Drown it. Okay. Oh shoot. <laughs> All right, there you go. Did it. Now watch. I'll get trashed by Jonah for illegally dumping in the river. <laughs> I don't feel good because, you know, fish could be there. <laughs> nice try, hero. But our boss always has a backup plan. He's planted bombs all over the walls of the building. No one can get to them in time. Not even you. Part of knows whatever a spider can was unclear to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, this part. Okay, we have to disable the. That kind of twisted freak plants bombs on walls as a backup plan? Okay, so I really like it how. Every time the in game's cutscene ends, there's always this weird, like, zoom out. And you guys can probably see it. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys had any memories of this version of the game. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can make it on time. I know the game's telling me the web zip, but let's see. Let's try it. Alright, come on. How much do we got? Okay, come on. Okay, that was actually pretty sweet. Okay. I remember as a kid, I didn't know what to do that good, so I just kind of took the long way. <laughs> That's the last one. I better check with the police to see if there's been any other sign of this mad bomber. Uh. Okay. Thanks, Spidey. We can handle things here, but the bombers apparently set up a similar That's a huge gun you have. Regional office. I'm on it. The way how he's able to move with it with these. <laughs> okay. Once again, another, another. I think this one's gonna be tougher. Where have I seen this before? Just like last time. Beat up the thugs. No, the you get, you get back. Get away. Back off. That's kind of cool. No, what are you doing? You can disarm enemies by pressing the web attack button when they taunt you. Come on! Ow! Ow! Oh my goodness! 
No, you back off. Get away from my precious bomb. And you. Mm -hmm. Bam. That's what you get for whacking me in the back of the head. All right. I'm for your man. All right. Come on. All right. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Whoop. 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 Talk about. Now to figure out the bomber's backup plan. Hmm. What's that suspicious package over there? Uh oh. Looks like some sort of tracking device, and it's showing bombs headed this way. This is a pretty long. I think you have to. Ow! I got ran over by the car. <laughs> Ow! Ugh. Okay, you're supposed to ask. It's just that you're not on the time limit, so... Just... Ow! Oh my goodness. One of the bombs is about to reach the building. I've got to stop it. Ah! Wait! Stop right there. Eh. 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 Whew. The building is safe. You never know, they could come back, so I'll make that for now. Alright. So I know what I like to do. I like to... kind of... What's get... better than swinging a bad guy around? How about throwing him right into his knuckle-dragging friends? Bada bing! You know how I like to kind of continue after filming a part? So, I'm gonna end it right there for... Well, for now, guys, well, well, I'm going to continue, and I'm going to record another part. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next part. And as good old Kong Spidey Zilla says, peace out.